it's a pleasure to talk to you, gentlemen. I was at the premiere last night, and I really felt like this movie had the impact on its own audience, basically. Tell us about the experience of watching it. You know, the experience of watching this film, and I'm, I'm glad you said that, uh, it had an impact on so many firefighters that were in that room watching mm -hmm. this, so many civilians, so many people. And the impact for us was, you know, for me, just great honor to be a part of Only the Brave and to be able to tell the story of our brothers, the Grand Amount Hotshots, and just to be able to kind of echo that throughout the fire service community within Wildland and structure. And um, just a really powerful moment. I think it was a great honor for them to have you involved and Pat as a <laughs> consultant. I mean, I think uh, you were a great addition to the team. Tell us how you worked on the film. Well, um, you know, we were really involved from the very beginning. You know, Mike Mitchell showed up in Prescott a long time ago, about two and a half years ago now, yeah. uh, to try to uh, figure out what this was all about and how the story can be told. So, you know, we were brought in from the beginning and uh, we had an open door policy, like uh, Brendan has said before, with the director, with the production staff, with all the actors. So we were brought in, we were, you know, brought into the fold um, and treated like, you know, anybody else that, yeah. you know, that you would hope to be treated like on a project like this. Is it the right impression that you infused into those ensemble of actors uh, the art of camaraderie because it really felt like they bonded the same way the Hot Shots had? Yeah, I think they definitely created that organically and I think we had a huge part to, to play in that and just to show them that and to tell them initially the story of our mm -hmm. brothers just really set the tone for them and they came into this film knowing um, what they had to do and the respect they were going to pay and uh, the hard work they're going to put in and so we just were continued to be uh, very just thankful that they had put in such great effort you know and surprised and shocked that you know, they just really took um, a huge responsibility on themselves mm -hmm. to make sure that Only the Brave was an authentic, true film to not only just our brothers, but to the wildland fire community. Technically, what did you teach them as well about the craft? You know, uh, we started from the very beginning with the simplest stuff. Day one, we told them about Grand Mountain Hot Shots that gave them the history of that, which also included the Yarnell Hill Fire, which had mm -hmm. an enormous impact on each of them. Um, and then, you know, with that foundation, we started, all right, well, now you're going to learn how to be a fireman. You're going to learn how to be a hot shot. So uh, we started with just getting the gear ready and those guys wearing 45 pound packs and going for a, a long hike, um, carrying all the tools and chainsaws and drip torches. And uh, after that, we started putting them right to work, whether it was digging line like you see in the film or running chainsaws like you see in the film and, and using fire. And we did that for a solid week. Um, we drove around in the buggies, uh, just like they do in the movie. They slept in the dirt like the hotshots do, and they eat MREs like the hotshots do. So uh, they were immersed in the culture, and I think the only thing that, that can come of that is the brotherhood that you see on the film. There's no other way, and there, there's really no exception. Um, and those guys would have not taken anything less than that. They were in the pursuit of nailing this thing. Who was the most naturally talented as a firefighter? Was it Josh? Because he seemed to have uh, experience before. I think they all had such great leadership yeah. and just mm. such great understanding. You see them, they portray um, people in other films and then they come to a film like this and they all did their research and homework and I feel like to, to point one or the other out would be so tough because they really put in a lot of hard work and effort to make sure that this was authentic and that really shines through. You know, and just like on a hotshot crew, you, you know, you're only as strong as your weakest person. So every actor that is portrayed in this movie uh, was brought along by everybody beside him. You know, there, mm -hmm. was, there was never anybody that was able to slack because these guys held each other accountable. Um, even if it was Josh, you know, somebody was holding him accountable and he was holding, you know, somebody else that, you know, maybe you don't see on the screen accountable. Um, it was a great working relationship with all, amongst all the actors and the production staff and with us, it was truly amazing. Did you appreciate the narrative of the film in the sense that it is, of course, about the terrible tragedy, but it's also about their lives as well. It takes the time to show what they were all about. 
It takes such great detail and depth to get into these individual stories and to show the characteristics of many wildland firefighters and many of our brothers that we have. And for them to go through that and just really take the time to, to show people who they were was just very heartwarming, very authentic, and just uh, very talented people, you know, mm -hmm. to be able to do what they've done in this film and have brought such great honor to our brothers. Tell us about working with Miles and how much you infused him in terms of... I think he just had an open and uh, just... Uh, openness and willingness to listen and to ask great questions. And I know Josh did the same thing and James and all of the actors. There's not a time that we didn't spend, you know, an hour long just talking about something in depth. This one line, you know, where we just, Pat would get in and they'd ask this and you'd see him kind of walk off and they'd start talking and, you know, they'd flag someone over, hey, come listen to this, you know, and they were just so in tune with what was being said and you could see it in their eyes and that's like, that's passion, you know, you know they're passionate about this and that's something they did a really great job at. And Miles, you know, a wonderful actor and it was cool to see how they, you know, some of the up and coming guys, they kind mm -hmm. of, you know, just worked all together and they all kind of, you know, played to their strengths and helped each other with things that, you know, they uh, just, it was a brotherhood they formed, you know, organically on set. Everyone was very invested in this story. It really felt like it at the premiere yesterday. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. It was its targeted audience, obviously. Everybody was very invested in the story that mm -hmm. was there. But what are you hoping international audiences will get out of watching Only the Brave? As far as the international audience, you know, I really hope that they, uh, they're able to take a look at this and see firefighting and maybe learn something about that. But I really hope that they're able to pick up on the brotherhood that, you know, is, is so clear to us right now. Mm. And uh, that, that passion for one another and, the, you know, what really shines through to me is the belief in one another that oh, these yeah. guys have, you know. And, uh, you know, you, you take someone, you bring them in and, and you build them up. And that's what these guys do. And I think it's truly the best of what... Uh, American uh, firefighters have to offer is building each other up and uh, you know bringing each other along. Yeah, I think you know internationally they're going to be able to see this film and we have so many different wildland firefighters all over the, the world and so it's going to bring great honor to them as well to be able to see this and it's going to shed a lot of light on what they do and you know it's um, it's a it's a, a different state but it's the same brotherhood mm -hmm. it's the same job it's the same selfless sacrifice that's mm -hmm. being willing to be given to others and so they're going to see that and they're just going to want to say thank you they're just going to you know want to be appreciative and that's something that just is so heartwarming for us. Without a doubt.